Hello and welcome back to Sorted Food. Now, today is a very special day because we are joined by Michelin trained chef and TikTok star Poppy O'Toole. Are you ready for this chaos? I've never been more ready before in my life. Could we start inviting guests in just to have fun and not do the judgy bit? <laughs> Talking of judgy bit, this is how it's going to work. So today, our three normal home cooks are competing, like they are for the whole year, for badges. Today, it is the twist badge. So you're each going to give your twist on Poppy's favourite TikTok recipes. So Poppy, with twist in mind, what is it you're going to be looking for? I want something creative. I want it to taste delicious. And I also need it to just give me that kind of like, oh, I've never seen this before. So in which case, which TikTok recipe are we doing first? Ah, okay, to start off with, we're gonna do my viral trend, the one that kind of kick-started it all, the 15-hour potato. Hallelujah. So what we need to do is basically peel a ton of potatoes. So we need them almost like a crisp. So have a go with a knife, and then we'll crack on with the mandolin, I suppose. 14 hours into our 15 hour spud, <laughs> we've got them sliced. Can I? Yes, Are you so happy for me yeah, to? Yeah, I am, I am. I think you'll be oh, all right. Oh, you're so oh, brave. Oh. Not that one. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Not those ones. These ones are great. Next, we need the duck fat. Straight over. Now we need a load of salt because there's no other flavour in this one, so. This is also a bit of a boring bit. It's basically one by one. Just layering them up on top of each other. Is that, and there's going to be weight on it as well? Yes, yeah, so once it comes out of the oven, after three hours of cooking, any kind of weight that you can get, I use like tins or anything that's going to be even weighted, so it's really pushing down, so all the fat solidifies together, all the starch solidifies together, and you just get this lump of deconstructed, reconstructed, delicious potato. Last layer, straight on top. You want this one to look a little bit prettier. And then we're just going to cover it with our parchment. And that's it, that's going to go into the oven. 130 cool. degrees for three hours. So in true Blue Peter style, I have made one at home. That's it's dedication. Commitment. Yeah. It's dedication also means I don't have your um, slices in it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to trim it up. Oh, look at that. Do you have a ruler, measuring tape, anything that I can, you know, size this up with? Glad you asked. <gasps> oh my god, you're so prepared. <laughs> okay, so it's going into hot oil at 180, 190. Hey, and it's in. Okay, and then we leave that until it gets golden all over and crispy and fatty and just. Oh! oh! The Confeed 15 hour potato, simple as it comes. I don't think you could do much better, even with a twist. Cheers. 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 <laughs> oh my. I don't know how you're going to beat it, I really don't. <laughs> it could be every single good thing about a potato. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. on 47 higher levels. Spectacular and sets the bar rather high, Jay. What if... Oh no. We turned your 15 hour confit potato into 15 hour bacon tater tots. Your 15 hours Do start it. now. <laughs> Three layers of potato, one layer of bacon. Okay. Final layer. Thank goodness. Because it's got the bacon in there. Yep. And I'm, you know, I'm nervous about the layers and the potato uh -huh. not sticking to each other. I'm going to cook it with weight on it so that it's pressing it down for the three hours yes. that it's in the oven as well. It cuts well. Yes. <gasps> that looks sick. I still don't think you can beat simplicity. You're huffing and puffing, but just let me get it straight. So far, it's, it's Poppy's recipe with bacon. Yeah, in the shape of yeah. Cubes. You haven't like reinvented the wheel. I'm going to add these into our deep fryer for minutes until they're golden brown. Oh, yeah. hello. They look really good. <laughs> oh, why did he do that? Little tower. Really? Little tower. Baz, you can complain, but if you had a plating badge, and I'd take it, that it from hurts. you, but you don't, so. so. Oh. Bacon 
tater tots with spicy guacamole and chimichurri. I think it's good. Oh, I'm going to go from these towers. I hate you. I hate you. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping she was disgusted. I know. Sorry, I threw it in aggression, but it was really, I'm going to just finish that off, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the sauces are lovely. I don't think you need them with it in any way, shape or form. So that's going to deduct some points of the twist because you've pumped us for no reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, try it, honestly. I'm really disappointed that it's so good. Well, cheers. cheers. Mm. Yeah, it's got bacon in it. The, it is the bacon. <laughs> yeah. It's great. It's great. I think the slightly smaller pieces gives you slightly more surface area and slightly more crispy edges. It's good. Well played. Bang out. All right, Mike, so uh, Jamie did kind of set the bar fairly high, actually. OK. Because even though the twist wasn't that innovative, it was quite delicious. This is the simplest recipe, and it's just pesto eggs, which was a massive trend. And all I did was put it in a wrap, and it got six million views. This is a social media lesson for me. I'm just gonna grab a couple of spoonfuls. You just want enough in there to cook the eggs. You can do it with a carissa, carissa eggs. I don't know what your twist is gonna be. Hold that, <laughs> hold it. Bit of pepper on there, a touch of salt. A little bit of salt. Uh, now I'm gonna add some cherry tomatoes in there. So you got parmesan and basil in there as well. Parmesan and basil in there as well. And this is cream Take cheese. Take that off for a minute. Oh, I'm worried. Go on. And then it's a really confident flip. How confident? Oh, yes! Yeah. Oh. Can you take my hand? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Delightful. Oh. Naughty. And then... There you go. And that is the pesto egg trend. Cheers. 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 That is what do you excellent. Think? That is a hot, delicious mess. It is a mess. It's a proper mess. That is delicious, like simply delicious. My favourite bit about that is the fact that because you cook the tomatoes, they kind of ooze nicely, yeah, don't they? And they really warm, mix in with all the cream and stuff. Oh, right. I've got my work cut out. Okay, I'm making a harissa shakshuka style yep. lentil salad. So I've taken inspiration from what you'd done and the technique yep. and breakfast and I thought shakshuka. And I thought, well actually, this is such a great technique. How would I eat this for dinner okay. in a really quick, easy, accessible way? Right, so um, I've got my harissa in there. Um, I've got garlic, yep. cumin, olive oil, oh. and then in with chickpeas. Yep. Chickpeas. No, lentils. <laughs> what I like is the principle of let's fry some eggs in an oily condiment, pesto farissa, mm -hmm. and we know the internet loves wraps, but what else does the internet love more? Lentils. lentils. Ebers. I'm on your side, I'm a big fan of a lentil. You're not, you're being sarcastic, but you're also being Ebers at the same time. So I've chopped some cherry tomatoes, they're going into my lentil mi mixture, along yeah. with a load of herbs, got mint, um, Parsley, stuff like that. It's like a tabbouleh. <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> Red wine vinegar going in. Lovely. Ooh, you don't want that, do you? I wasn't going to say anything. That? I just thought I'd let you Fiber. carry on. Fiber. Fiber? It's going to come out whole, that will. Right, okay. So, red wine vinegar going yeah. in. Salt, pepper. Great. Going to get some lemon zest and lemon juice in there. I like Let's how you some. cut the lemon first and then yeah. zest it. <laughs> So what do you want? Four eggs cracked in without breaking the yolk. Well, 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 why are you telling me what I want, Ebbers? In quick succession so they all cook evenly. I want whatever we get. <laughs> they are just going to slide straight on. Um, so let's get a mound of this. Wow. And the best thing about it, you can't see a salad. <laughs> <laughs> the bit of crumbled feta over the top. And why are you putting feta on there, Chef? Uh, just because it adds a creamy saltiness. Mm -hmm. And then you add in yogurt as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And go some flaked almonds. So where, so where Jamie just added bacon, I'm adding you're it. Adding, yeah. All the store cupboard. <laughs> Sesame seeds and some greenery to finish. 
It does look good. I still don't know what it is, but I kind of like it. Me neither. And that, <laughs> is that not the essence of creativity? Is when you look at it and go, I don't know what that is. I'll tell you why you don't know what that is, because it's brand new. This is a Chef Shuka. Look at that. <laughs> Baz, you what? disrespectful piece of Nothing weird, though. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's absolutely delicious. Mm. The lentils are lovely. That is banging. The garlic is no. <laughs> fierce. It's the only thing missing from this. If you'd warm and blistered your tomatoes That's as well. That's point, actually. It's super tasty, no, it, though. It is really it's tasty. It's all the flavours I love. It's definitely out there. Like, I would never have thought to put a lentil salad with um, eggs. But if you want the TikTok points, <laughs> put it in a wrap. I think that's what we're learning here. It's a different experience, isn't it? It's not a salad anymore. It's you not. should have put it in a wrap. What's that? It's not as good. No, you're <laughs> correct. It's not. OK, so pasta chips, they are everywhere, mm -hmm. everywhere. And I just jumped on the trend, the simplistic way to do it, just so you can have a little snack, a little bowl of pasta chips or crisps or whatever you want to call it. So we've got the pre-cooked pasta. So we've already boiled them off till you want to go a little bit further than al dente because you want them soft so that you can fry them. That's creepy. I didn't mean I to do like that. <laughs> I don't sorry. like it. I don't like it. And then we're going to coat it in some parmesan. And then we've got oregano or Italian herbs, whichever you okay. have in the cupboard. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, there's a fan on. And a, fan. <laughs> a little bit of pap. Poppy, how did you become a chef? What was your journey? I just love eating. I absolutely <laughs> love eating and I'm obsessed with it and I always have been obsessed with eating. I just wanted any excuse to be in the kitchen because my mum, mom, Nan, is very like matriarchal cookers mm -hmm. um, and they'd just be in the kitchen all day and I knew that was my way to eat whilst they were cooking and then I was working in like pubs and stuff. I was on the front of house. I was like, please go and get in the kitchen. And I was a porter, so I worked my way up through the pub. And then I saw an apprenticeship at a Michelin starred place in Birmingham. And I was there for like three and a half years. And that's when I realised actually, it's not just like pub grub. You can actually make like molecular things and <laughs> deep fried pasta. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a book. What's the vibe of the book? So I kind of just took it as a bit of a learning tool. So it's actually set out into 12 core recipes. So the first chapter is you learn how to make a tomato sauce. And from that tomato sauce, you get a staple dish, a brunch dish, a potato dish, and a fancy AF dish. So it's all using the same tomato sauce. And that goes out throughout. So there's like uh, white sauces, meringues, confit garlic. It's like building blocks. It's building blocks, gotcha. which you'll have to uh, have a look at in the book, which is out in September. You can oh, well play. Now on Amazon. We love a plant here. Yeah. We love a plant here. Get the sun on. <laughs> I feel like if Poppy's getting 11 million views, 6 million views on all these different videos, maybe there's a way that we could get in on some of this TikTok action. Well, we've heard, JJ, um, we've actually gone and filmed a ton of TikTok videos to try and piggyback off of some of Poppy's success. You can go and watch those right now. So we're just going to get the excess oil off, give them a little toss. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get them into the serving plate. I'm going to put a bit more parmesan on. Well, there you go. This is just the most simplest form of the pasta chip, but have a try. Cheesy chip? Yes, please. If you mess about with this recipe, you're only ruining it, right, Poppy? <laughs> That's good. It's Moorish. Mm. It's everything you want in a bar snack. What do we have here, though? We have fried pasta. Well, so I am making Cheesecake. Pardon? I'm making deep fried ravioli cheesecake. Can't wait for that. No, it's actually, yeah. Right. Yes. Do it. <laughs> Cream cheese, uh, yes. strawberry jam, icy sugar, and corn flour, bit of lemon zest, and a bit of basil and mint. Nice. Into the cheesecake mix, into a piping bag, and then into the fridge to let it firm up a bit. Now, for the sauce on top, yes. going for a pesto. Love that. Okay, I've left, I've left the cheese out, but otherwise, the main components of a pesto, honey soaked pine nuts, basil, and mint. I don't think that's a pesto in any way, shape, or form, but I like it. It's a green sauce. And homemade pasta as well. Yeah. 
Wow. Oh, that's where did you make that? Well, you made uh, homemade pasta, Barry. I, I, made, I made homemade pasta and rolled it out myself earlier. You wow. Did not. Studio made pasta, not homemade pasta. Well, I rolled it out myself earlier. There's footage of that. I'm very nervous this bit. Come on. Oh, okay, that's a Why would you go that way? I don't I don't know. These have to be obviously super airtight, otherwise they're gonna burst and go everywhere. So uh the corn flour. It's kind of not given much structure at this point, but it will thicken up and make it almost custardy when it cooks. So if you think about back to Rab's cheat of using corn flour or custard powder, yep. that's a nice cheat, but it's mostly corn flour. This is another nice little hack for using corn flour to give you almost a custardy filling um, once it cooks. Oh, yes! Oh. Look at that! I think we need some cubes on top as well. I'm just okay. I'm changing your recipe now. We're gonna hold Fine, this is, we're a team here, aren't we? Yes. No, you're in need of help. Yeah. They look they look pretty good. They now don't look like pasta at all. So we'll go. Okay. Confident drizzle. The fine notes. Oh no, the fan. Where's the fan? Yeah, no, it's here, it's here. Go to it. Where? I don't know, there's fans everywhere. I'm kind of happy with how they look. They look great. I'm just intrigued at what the hell they actually are. Yeah, same. <laughs> Do you want to try one? Yeah, I'm going to go for this beastie one in the middle. Okay. Cheers. 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 I'm scared. Uh -huh. Okay. Interesting. I mean, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> now the cornflower's cooked, it's kind of that set custard in the middle. Yeah, they're thick. That's why the cornflower's there. Genius. It's definitely twisted. I mean, it's as a standalone dish, it's absolutely amazing, mate. It's really nice. I think we need more filling, actually. Mm -hmm. I think you could go harder with this because it was delicious, a filling. I'm not sure on its own the honey, pine nut, mint, basil thing was there, but mixed with fresh strawberries, suddenly it's actually really quite interesting. Mm. The good news is, Poppy, you have all the control. You've seen three of our normal home cooks each twist up one of your favourite TikTok trends. Mm -hmm. Who gets the badge? Is it the bacon tater tots with chimichurri and spicy guac? It's good. It's good. Is it the harissa eggs on top of the lentil salad? Or is it the fried pasta dessert with herbs and strawberry? I think because it pushed the boundary the most and was nothing like what I had suggested, it might actually be the lentil salad. Oh! <laughs> Mike takes the badge for the Harissa Friday. Yes! Eggs. With a lentil Thank salad! You. Lentil salad! Everything else was delicious though, sorry guys. Sorry. I can't oh believe bacon has finally let me down. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> Poppy, you've been a hero. Thanks for coming down and fitting in so well as we bully our normal home cooks. And now it's over to you guys. Poppy is the TikTok food trend queen, but did she make the right decision today? Let us know. And while you're downstairs, we'll also put a link to all of Poppy's excellent recipes over on TikTok. Now, despite losing, I think it's fair to say, we, we enjoyed ourselves today. Um, did you? <laughs> do you fancy another video? Yes, really. We were thinking, seeing as TikTok's clearly your thing, how would you like to partake in something that's very definitely our thing? Did I hear someone say, pass it on? Yes. <laughs> Great, that's all we need. Information right there. You don't need both hands. No. You obviously can't use them very well. <laughs> not, not together anyway.